Hey, my friends. Welcome back to Vibrant Happy Women. I am Dr. Jen Rida, your host. I am so glad that you're here, that you're listening, and that we can celebrate this, the last day of 2018, together. If you're listening after the fact, well, it's the last day of 2018, December 31st. And that means tonight is New Year's Eve. How are you going to celebrate? Are you excited to see 2018 go? Or are you a little sad? Was it a really good year for you? You know, I consider 2018 my hardest and my best year. Beautiful, right? I've been thinking lately a lot about cracks. You know, there's a Leonard Cohen quote about those cracks in our soul allow the light in. And I've, I'm finding that to be really true. As you know, I struggled in the past year with my teens, both of them, the two oldest, the 15 and 17 year olds. And it was a rough year and there were times I just hurt so much. But there were also moments where I learned, hey, I'm hurting, but I'm tired of hurting and I'm going to choose happiness no matter what. I feel like I got past something that I'll never go back or at least not to the level I did before where I felt like a victim of other people. I feel like a victim of my teens. Why me? Why do I have these hard kids? <laughs> you know, we all do it. We've all done it. But I realize even if those pity party moments come, I can make them shorter and shorter and shorter. That was why 2018 was amazing. So I want to challenge you to think about your 2018. Was it hard? What was hard? And what did you learn from those hard things? And as you think about 2019, what do you want to focus on? And that's what this happy bit is about today. We're talking about focusing on one feeling you would like to have in 2019. So I've thought a lot about this. There are so many feelings I love, so many values and priorities that are important to me. Of course, I think about spirituality, my family, my career, all of you. I love all of you so much. My health, um, so many things. But how do I know which one should be that primary focus? And you know what I decided? My word for 2019 is health. There, I'm saying it publicly, why health? You know, in the past, I tried to put my faith at the top because, you know, God should be first, right? <laughs> or the universe or whatever you talk about there. But I realized when I felt badly in my body, when I felt low energy, when I felt depressed or tired, it was really hard for me to feel spiritual. Same thing. When I felt negative in my body, when I felt low energy, I didn't show up very well for my kids or my spouse. So at the very top of my list this year, my top priority, my top focus is my health. I have some work to do. I have some changes to make, but I'm really, really excited. I recently joined Orange Theory Fitness, and this is a free shout out, not an affiliate shout out. It's kind of fun. A friend online said, Jen, I think that they pump crack into the air conditioning vents because it's so addictive. Well, I've only gone three times now and I'm kind of finding it true. What's fascinating is I think about it all day long when I'm not there. <laughs> what in the world? I have never longed for a workout before in my life. Okay, maybe yoga, but I'm thinking about it all the time. So Orange Theory Fitness, I don't know if you have them where you're from, give it a shot. They have orange lights. They turn the lights down. They play loud music. It feels like you're working out in a club. <laughs> you're at a club and um, it's fun. It's super fun. So check it out. I'm also going to be going two days a week, or maybe three days a week to hot yoga. We have a great studio in our area called Dragonfly Hot Yoga, which I love. And so that's my plan. I haven't worked out for an hour a day, <laughs> multiple days a week since, I don't know, 2004. <laughs> it's been a long time. So cheer me on. This is a new step for me. I, I like how it's making me feel already. So health. Now, along with that, not just the exercise, I kind of have a new eating plan for myself. Now, I have spent years knowing I needed to eat less sugar and I've gone up and down eating that way here and there. And I feel really good. I've done JJ Virgin. I love that. That is the right way for me to eat. But what I am doing to adapt that is I am going to be doing more of the intermittent fasting approach along with the JJ Virgin kind of mentality. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just go to JJ Virgin's website and you can learn more. But 
I really, really love protein shakes. Now, JJ Virgins are fine, but my favorite protein shake is Organifi, the chocolate. And I love adding a scoop of their greens powder. So, so yummy. Greens powder is really cool because it alkalizes your body. And when you're alkaline, you have less acid and just all together healthier. You're going to have less cravings for the stuff you don't want. So I'm just starting my day with more of a fasting approach. If I am working out, I'm just going to have the protein shake from Organifi and trying for a salad a day and a healthy meal at night and then stopping by 7 p.m. So why is intermittent fasting good? I know many of you know all about it already. And if you're doing it, kudos to you. I have done it, just haven't stuck with it yet. But intermittent fasting gives your body a break where it can just rest and reset and recharge. And when you're intermittent fasting, you tend to have more of that growth hormone, which is really good for repairing things in your body and for helping your metabolism and helping with glucose intolerance and all those things we kind of want to avoid. So my friend, Michelle Pettipa, yes, shout out to Michelle. I will see you at the retreat in about five weeks. She's been an amazing intermittent faster and she's lost about 90 pounds doing this. I'm so proud of her. So Michelle, I'm joining you. I'm jumping on your bandwagon. I'm going to add a little bit of intermittent fasting to my life. So that's my plan. That is how I'm focusing on health. Now I want to turn the conversation to your word of the year. How do you decide what it is and how do you take action on it? So we're going to have a very, very quick word from our sponsor, and then we'll come back and talk about making that decision for your word of the year, your focus for 2019. Welcome back. So we're talking about our word of the year and mine is health. And I'm so excited to see where this goes for me. Now, I could just focus on, oh, I want to lose weight. I want to look hot. (laughs) I want a six pack. Oh, that would all be amazing. But let's be realistic. What I do want from it is to be a better mom, to be more patient, to have more energy, to be more fun and vibrant. And I also love the deeper spirituality I feel when I am eating healthfully. So those would be my two big whys. So for you, here's what I want you to do as you think about this. Maybe you're driving. How do you want to feel in 2019? Maybe you look at your 2018 and think, what felt really good? What did I love? And what do I want more of in 2019? And then think about all those priorities and areas of focus that might help you to generate that feeling. Because I want to feel spiritual and because I want to feel more patient and calm and in control, it was easy to understand that the first domino in that queue of events is my health. It really is my health. When I'm eating right, when I'm exercising, everything is better. My mood's higher. My energy's higher. I'm more fun and more vibrant. So health became my word for 2019. So think about your options, maybe get out your journal and journal a bit and figure out that word, how you want to feel and what word or what feeling is going to help you get there. Then you're going to list your top four action steps. For me, it's the regular exercise and it's the eating plan and it's staying hydrated. And then there's a big one I didn't mention. It's visualizing myself as this healthy person, training my body to be it before I've actually achieved it because really your brain can't tell the difference between reality and imagination. Studies show that when you practice something with your mind, it is just as effective, if not more effective than physical practice. So why not train your brain to start feeling and being the way you want to be and show up in this world? Practice it, make it your identity, visualize it with all your senses, do it morning and night, make it happen. I did this in high school when I played basketball and it made all the difference. It just totally changed my shooting game in basketball, (laughs) not hunting. (laughs) I, I didn't hunt, but anyway, visualization. So those are my top four action steps. What are yours? You have your word, pick your four action steps. And I highly encourage you to make one of those to visualize yourself being that word, being that word. Maybe it's peaceful. Maybe it's light filled. Maybe your word is happiness, whatever it is, picture it, be it in your mind and your body will follow. And that is my happy bit for you today. Now I have a challenge for you. I want you to head over to iTunes 
and leave a review if you haven't already and stick your word of the year in there. And I'm going to share some of those on our next happy bit, some of your words and thoughts. So to do that, go to jenriday.com slash iTunes to leave your word of the year. Can't wait to read those. If you have any problems with that, you can find me on Instagram at jen.riday. You can message me there. I will definitely putting, be putting the most attention on my iTunes account where I know you all can access that. Well, go out and rock your last day of 2018 and go out and rock your first day of 2019. Make this the year you feel the way you want to feel and be that person in your mind and make it happen in reality. It totally works. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you again soon. Take care. Thanks for listening to the Vibrant Happy Women podcast at www.jenriday.com.